Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. <laughs> Today we are going to be using the, bo the bone set. Um, I talked with the person about this set when I bought them and we didn't know what kind of bone they were. We figure it's some sort of bovid. I'm going to throw down three runes. Each of these runes is going to represent a problem, question, or concern that you may have. Have a look at what they are, decide which one of them you would like to get the answer for. I will put the timestamps in the description of the video and you can click directly to the reading you need. Let's get started. So your first rune here is Ride Though Reversed. Ride Though is the rune of riding, it's the rune of the journey, um, and it is reversed. So this refers to either the end of a journey or a, a journey where you're turning inward and journeying inward. So if you have either had a recent end of the journey or you're thinking about ending a journey or there is a journey that has ended for you, um, or if you've just basically taken the journey inward, go on to timestamp number one and get your reading. So your second rune is Fehu. Fehu is the rune of wealth and worth, um, cattle basically, which is your, your movable wealth. So it's, it's wealth that you need to tend, but it's, it's what makes you feel worthy and that's what this question is about. Basically you question about wealth, um, wealth or worth. It's not reversed, so it's probably not to do with inner worth, it's just general wealth or worth. So if you have a question about that, who doesn't? Please go to timestamp number two. Now your third rune is Ingvaz. Ingvaz is the rune of Ing. Ing is another name for Frey, and Frey is the fertility god. This has to do with active creation, um, sometimes fertility, but sometimes also Yang identity. But this mostly has to do with Yang creation, basically active creation, actively shaping something into what you want it to be. So if your question, problem, or concern is about that, please go to timestamp number three, and I will see you there. Hello, question number one. We have Rido Reversed, which is the riding rune, it's the journey rune, and it is reversed. So this has to do with the end of a journey or a journey that's turned inward. Let's see what the runes have to say about this. So I'm putting down a rune that leads up to this, what led up to this, and I'm putting down a rune of what's going to help you, and a rune about what isn't going to help you, and a rune about your next step on the path. Okay. So leading up to this, we've had something that has begun, something new that has begun. We have Burkana. Burkana is the rune of the birch tree. It has to do with birth and beginnings, um, sometimes with uh, yin identity and uh, yin, yin, uh, yin fertility, where you've, something, has, something is growing and developing naturally instead of being shaped. But really it has to do with beginnings, and I'm seeing something has begun, and either you're thinking about something that has ended or that or about ending something because something has begun. So what's helping here is we have Manas reverse. Manas is the rune of humanity. Reverse it has to do with tuning out the din of humanity and really focusing on your own inner inner wisdom and your own inner voice, which sometimes gets drowned out from the din of humanity. So that's what's like actually going to help you at this point where you're thinking about this this problem about a journey ending or ending a journey. What doesn't help, of course, this also has to do with turning inward as well. And I, I guess every journey that ends does turn the journey inward in that way as well. So two, two ways to read that. What doesn't help is this sort of, it wasn't really a surprise, but it was, it's a lot. And you're worried about getting overwhelmed. This is Dagas, it's the rune of the breakthrough of the day. It's the dawn, um, big revelation. So. This may be something that has begun, but also a big revelation. So you're really thinking, well, you know, I really should end <laughs> what I was thinking about, or maybe this is the end of something that was, that you're now dealing with. I'm just gonna throw down a couple more runes on this line to really clarify it because it's kind of important. <laughs> okay. And yeah, it, it was a big surprise. We have Pertho. Pertho is the rune of the lot box. Um, surprises, fate. This was a big surprise. So something new, something, it could even be for some of you a birth or something that is going to lead to a birth. So this is, this is a surprise. And if it was a birth, then this would be like the end of your old life. 
kind of thing. So big surprise, you're sort of, okay, overwhelmed by it and, and just, this are just basically worries. So what helps when you tune out uh, the din of humanity is the fact that, A, okay, this is Yera. Yera is the rune of the harvest. It literally means year. So it's the harvest, it also has to do with time. So I'm going to read this a couple ways. Um, this is something that has its time to it. It's, it's a, a specific amount of time that it's going to be. Um, also just thinking, it's like a, it's like a package of time. Um, but also, you are seeing the fruits of your labors with this thing that you've begun or that has begun. So you're already seeing the benefits of it. So especially when you tune out the din of humanity, everybody's going blah, 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 blah. Tune that out and you will see that you're already getting the benefits from this. So it is a good idea, It ultimately, even though you've been overwhelmed by this beginning, um, to move forward with this either inner journey or, or ending the journey that you were thinking about. So your next step on the path line is Tivaz. Tivaz is Tyr's rune. Tyr is the warrior god. Um, has to do with duty and responsibility, but also, of course, marching forth. But this is reversed and it's on the path line. So it says, you know, basically stop fighting. Um, stop fighting this. Be at peace. And, you know, tend what you need inwardly. And that will help you. Um, what helps at that point is patience. We have Ivaz. Ivaz is the rune of the yew tree. It has to do with patience and slow growth, slow development. Don't fight it, you know, just, you know, it's, it's pretty much inevitable, whatever it is. So just let it develop, let it grow and develop. And it, it's, it will come to where it's going. So just, so just like relax, lay down your sword, let this happen. What doesn't help is carrying on from all of this with the overwhelm and the sudden surprise. It's a big challenge and this is concerning you a lot. I mean, you've put your sword down, but this is a huge challenge. You're not fighting it, but oh my gosh, this beginning is a new, is a big challenge. If that starts to be the case, it's like, well, you know what? We're just gonna take this step by step. We're just gonna take this bit by bit. It's, it's not gonna happen all at once. This is something that is, something I'm going to be patient about. I'm, I'm going to let this grow and develop as it will. And what this leads to is Gabo. Gabo is the rune of the gift, so it is a gift. Um, it's also an exchange a decision and an agreement, but also I'm just going to say X marks the stop the spot at this point. It's, it's basically the culmination of this thing that began is coming. And that's a, that I'm pretty sure that's a good thing. Let's throw down a couple more runes just to make sure because I, I would like to leave it but I, I don't want to leave it because it's it's like I don't want to leave that as anything but answered. So, okay. So what helps at this point when this becomes, when this X marks the spot happens, is stillness and clarity. We have uh, Aisa, which is the rune of ice, uh, standstill. Just have that moment when this happens be still and, and let this let this be. You will be tempted, and this is what isn't helping you, by worrying about feelings of worthlessness possibly or that you're not as worthy or that you're not worth this. This is Fehu, it's the rune of wealth and worth. It is reversed but it's on the lower line. So this is going to all stem from what you've tuned out here with the, with he, the Din of Humanity. So you're going to maybe worry about you know, I'm doing this, I'm being still while this happens, while this becomes. While I'm being still, I'm going to get judged. I'm, I feel like I'm going to get judged for not being worthy of standing still or also not being worthy of this. You are. You totally are. I mean, look, you're already getting the fruits of this labor. You're already getting uh, the benefits of it. It's, and what it leads to is Uru's reversed. Uru's is the wild ox, and it has to do with strength and health, and it's reversed, but it's on the path line. And what I see this as is it's really developed your inner strength. You have inner strength like you've never had before at this point, after this, after this has gone through, after this has, has happened. So this is, wow, neat. <laughs> it's quite a challenge, but I, I'm, pretty sure that you're up to it because you are going to end with inner strength. You may feel a bit knocked off your feet by the end of it. 
but you will know even if you are knocked off your feet at the end of it um, that you have this great inner strength this inherent inner strength that you maybe didn't know that you had and that's definitely awesome um, so you know you've got inner journey <laughs> inner duties inner strength so that is your reading i wish you a lovely day or evening take care till next time bye Hello, question number two. We have Fehu. Fehu's the rune of wealth and worth. Let's see what the runes have to say. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing down some runes around Fehu um, just to make sure, well, just to, just to make sure what this is about. Um, one is a rune that's what's led up to this. One is a rune of what is going to help. One is a rune of what isn't going to help. And one is your next step on the path. So what led up to this question about wealth and worth is communication. We have uh, Ansu's, the rune of communication and manifestation. Maybe you were talking to people, maybe you've been having conversations about this and it's led to questions of wealth and worth. And so what about it? Well, what helps is we have Bakana and it's reversed and it's on the helping line. There's a few ways I could read this, so I really want to throw down a couple more runes to clarify on this line. Ooh. Ooh, that's different. Well, so Burkana has to do with beginnings, um, birth. It also has to do with uh, sometimes family. It is reversed though. So with what helps what helps, we have Pertho. Pertho is the rune of surprises and the lot box and fate. So ultimately what's happening is things are opening out for you. They may be surprises and there's something that's going to carry you forward because you're going to be noticing these surprises and they're going to be pretty good surprises. They're going to be like, okay, revelations. This is nice. Not huge revelations, but like, like a law box. So you cast it and oh, I'm lucky today. So this is actually coming while you're thinking about this, you are actually seeing some good luck that you're having at this point. This sort of goes against, I think, what you've been telling yourself about your natural identity, that maybe you've thought that you haven't been lucky, maybe you have considered yourself unlucky. So to think of yourself suddenly as lucky is a bit new, but it's what will help you at this point. What doesn't help is we have Vunyo and we have Isa. Vunyo is the rune of joy. You're worried about your happiness. You, you're just, I mean, this is what ultimately is dragging you down. It's like wealth and worth, okay, Am I going to be happy? Am I happy? What doesn't help is, what doesn't help, what doesn't help is Isa, which is the rune of ice, um, stand still, not moving. So you feel like if I don't do anything, am I going to be happy? Um, sort of th that sort of thing. Ultimately, the, the lower line is always the opposite of the upper line. So the upper line is always the antidote to the lower line. The upper line is saying, you are lucky even if you don't think you are, try to turn away from that idea that you may have had that you were unlucky and notice how lucky you are. What this is saying is you're worried about that. You know, you're worried about things not moving. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it in. This is like a really tricky line that has things that it's trying to say. <laughs> Yes, lucky, and that's your place in humanity. You really feel, no, I do belong. I do belong. Ultimately, yeah, so being stubborn, Uru's, the wild ox, being stubborn, leads to a standstill, which puts your happiness in question. So try to keep moving. Let this new thing carry you forward. If you are stubbornly clinging to your previous identity of feeling like you are not a lucky person, then that's actually going to drag you down. I'm making a mess. <laughs> but if you recognize, and it is, this is there for you to see, that you are not the unlucky person that you've been telling yourself you are for so long, you can step into your place in humanity and go, no, you know what, I belong here, and I am lucky. I do have good luck and good fortune, and I am worthy of worth and wealth. So what your next step here is, is uh, represented by Avaz. Avaz is the rune of the horse. It has to do with movement and also with um, spirit. So A, follow the spirit. B, don't stop moving. I mean, obviously, not moving is what is not helping you. So 
keep moving forward, um, follow the spirit. What is going to help here? This is, I am pretty sure. <laughs> I'm actually literally dumping out the other runes just to see whether that's Sovilo or no, that's definitely Sovilo. Cause this is Hagalaz. This rune set has a different way of drawing Sovilo. Usually it looks like an S. Um, in the Calver Stone, it looks like a squiggle. So it's basically the sun. So what helps here is tapping into your source energy. Open up, tap into your source energy. You know what this is. Just sort of open up, take a deep breath, feed your inner flame, tap into that. That will help you get access to your source energy and this will help carry you forward with the movement that you need and, and following your spirit. What doesn't help is doubting your heart in this. This is Lagu's, it's the rune of the lake, um, has to do with emotions, intuition, heart. It is reversed and it's on the lower line. So you're sort of doubting your heart at this point. Try not to do that and in fact if you just open up and tap into your source energy you're going to forget all about this. You're not going to doubt, you're just going to follow the light. You're going to follow the light and then you're just going to follow the spirit. So this will actually lead to a big, a big revelation. This is a uh, it's like casting lots revelation. This is a big revelation. This is the Dagaz. It's the breakthrough of the day. It's the dawn. It looks good. It looks really good. I like this. So have faith. You know, you're, you're thinking about your wealth and your worth. You definitely have it. You're worth more than you think you are. Um, if you've been telling yourself you're unlucky your whole life, you're not. Look around. Open your eyes. Quiet this voice of you basically turn it around and say, no, you know what? I look at my life. I belong here and I am good and I am lucky. I tap into my source energy. I keep moving and I will get the revelation that I'm waiting for. So wow, guys. I mean, people. Wow, lovely people. <laughs> um, that's your reading for question number two. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello, question number three. This is Ingvaz, the rune of Ing, it's Ing's rune, um, of Frey, so the fertility god. The fertility god. It's exciting. It's actually about uh, active creation in general, so this is something that you're working on. So let's see what the runes have to say about this. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm throwing down a rune to show what led up to this, a rune that is going to show what's going to help a rune that is going to show what isn't going to help, and what your next step on the path is going to be. Okay, so leading up to this, you have just crossed the threshold on something very challenging that you had just finished facing. Um, it wasn't an extremely hard challenge, but it was a challenge maybe more psychologically than it was like everything challenge. It wasn't a hugely difficult challenge, but it was the sort of thing where the door was lying open in front of you and you knew you had to step through it. It was just, it just took a lot to get through it. It was a challenge to, to get through, but you're here. You're here now and you want to make the most of where you are. So you're actively creating, whether it's the life around you or what you cross the threshold to do. So what helps in this case is patience and slow growth. We have Ivaz, that's the yew tree rune. It has to do with slow development, patience. Um, one of the nicest things I've seen about this rune is the comment in, I believe, Blum's first book of runes, where he was saying results may not be certain, results may not be immediate, but they are certain. So you are working slowly towards your goal. And as long as you keep moving forward on this, but as long as you keep working towards this, um, even if it feels slow, it is going to come to be, it is going to come to fruition. What doesn't help is Rytho reversed. Rytho is the journey rune, um, the riding rune. It is reversed and it's on the lower line. So what won't help is stopping this journey at this point. You need to keep the mo momentum, even if it's slow. You need to keep this momentum up, you need to keep moving. I'm going to throw down a couple more runes on this line just to make sure of this line because it needs to be clear. It is a it is the main line, so <laughs> we need to see the clarity of it. Yeah, so maybe you don't feel as supported as you would like to in this endeavor, um, which is what Algiz is saying here. Algiz is the elk. It has to do with uh, protection and support. It is on the lowest line in this particular spread. 
So you may feel, okay, well, if I'm not going to be supported in this, to heck with it, I'm not doing it. That will actually not work for you. I mean, I'm telling you right now that is not going to help you. What will help is, especially if you start to feel like if nobody, if nobody's going to support me in this, then, then I'm not doing it. Bring yourself back up here. No, step by step. I know this is what I want. This is what I crossed the thre this threshold to do. I'm here now. I'm going to do this. So step by step. And then we have Tiva's um, Tears the Warrior God. His rune has to do with duty and responsibility as well as picking up and going. So just make this your quest. Make this slow development of creating this new reality around you or whatever you're creating, make this your quest. Treat it as a quest and this will actually help carry you forward. Your next step is the manifestation of this, of what you're working on. This is Ansu's, it's the rune of manifestation and communication. Communication and manifestation, usually I say, but considering the steps, I'm going to read this as manifestation first and communication second. Um, obviously you want to talk about it after you've done it. <laughs> so I'm going to throw down a few more runes, what's going to help you in this case. They're like little teeth, aren't they? Anyway, <laughs> um, what's going to help you, what isn't going to help you in your next step from this point where you've actually manifested what you've been working on? Okay, very nice. Very nice. Um, what's going to help you at this point where you are actually manifesting? You're seeing the manifestation come through of this. Is being open um, to what's going into it. You know, you, you could be working on something and then you really want to push to the end. You don't want to push the river on this. You want to just, you know, you've been carrying it on very patiently and very carefully. Don't blow this at the last bit. This is, you're seeing it come through. I know you're excited, but you're going to want to just keep letting that flow through and opening up to it whatever it is that's coming through is going to really help you. Blank Rune, new addition to the Futh arc, however it's useful for things like this. Um, what isn't going to help you is exactly what we were talking about. We have Nauthys and it's reversed and it's on the lower line, which is a really hard edit, just basically to try to shape it while it's manifesting. Like you've shaped it up to this point, you've been working on it really hard, but you want to edit it while it's still growing and that will kill it. So please don't do that. Um, you're working on it, you start to see it manifest. This is really, really good. Keep open to what needs to come through for it to keep developing and try not to force it. Don't, don't push the river, no river pushing. What this is going to lead to is a big harvest. This is the harvest rune, this is Yira. Um, the fruits of your labors at this point. So once you, you cross the threshold, you started working on this, you started to see it manifest, and here it is, fully manifested, the fruits of your labors. This is really good. This is a really good path. You might uh, drag yourself down a bit by trying to wrestle with it or almost giving up, but I don't see you giving up. I see you going, uh, continually just going back and going, no, I'm just going to keep working on this. Even if it's like offhanded, it's like, no, I'm just, you know, as long as I move a little bit forward every day, we're going to do this. And here you are. You're going to get there. You're going to get to your harvest. So that is your reading, um, rune reading people number three. And <laughs> I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.